right, so we are going to do the benchmark on photosynthesis for stage one. The first thing that I want you guys to remember is our equation for photosynthesis. Anybody want to give it a whirl? Um, 6H2O. 6H2O. Plus 6 CO2. Plus 6 CO2. So water and carbon dioxide are going in. Yields. We add sunlight. 6 CO2. Oxygen's coming out and? Plus C6H12. Plus C6H12O6. What's that one? Glucose. 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 Good. Which one's the most important? The glucose. Yeah, because that's pretty much the goal, right? Because photosynthesis is trying to make food for the plant. All right, so what we are going to be focusing on this time is we're going to be looking at the water being used in stage one. The oxygen being produced in stage one, and the sunlight being used in stage one. Stage one has multiple names. You can call it stage one of photosynthesis. You can call it light reactions, or you can call it light dependent reactions. Lost anybody yet? Okay. What do you think I mean when I say light dependent? Reactions. Me, or Miha, sorry. It needs light to like react. Needs light. All right. So it requires light. Does anybody find that strange? That that insinuates what about stage two? Well, that stage two does not require light. So there's a part of photosynthesis that does not actually require sunlight. All right. So photosynthesis can be broken up into the part that requires sunlight and the part that doesn't. We're focusing on the part that requires the sunlight. Right? And in stage one, right, it's going to be taking place in the thylakoids. Anybody remember what thylakoids are? Discs. The mentos. The mentos, yes. The little flattened discs. Yeah, it's not working very well. The little flattened discs inside of the chloroplast. Right? That's the site of photosynthesis. At the thylakoids, what we're going to be doing is basically we're just going to be converting energy. We're going to take sun energy and turn it into chemical energy. Then we're going to take that chemical energy, move it on to the next stage, and the next stage is where we're going to get our big product, our glucose. Good? Questions? Comments? Rude gestures? No? Good. All right, so, hopefully it's still recording, because it didn't do that last time. All right, so, um, we're going to focus on energy first, because on the last slide, I showed you we're converting sunlight energy into chemical energy. The two forms of chemical energy that we're focusing on, green doesn't work, green doesn't work, Mrs. Ross, right, is we're going to be focusing on ATP and NADPH, right, those are our two chemical energy molecules that are taking place in photosynthesis or being used. You have two different forms of these molecules. You have a charged form. All right, by charged form, I'm pretty much meaning energized. At that point, it holds energy. Charged form, it's energized. It holds energy. Then you have two other forms, right? You have an unenergized form of ATP, which is a DP, and an uncharged form of NADPH, which is just NADP minus the H. Good so far. It'll make more sense in a second. <coughs> so, um, we should all know that basically ATP is carrying our energy. That's our big, big energy molecule in our bodies, right? Anybody remember what type of organic compound it is? Dave? It's a nucleic acid. Nucleic acid, right? So it's one of the nucleic acids that we fo focused on, right? It's going to be responsible for our energy, made of a sugar, phosphate, base, remember that? Mm -hmm. Picture looked like this. Anybody remember what I referred to that whole molecule as during the biochem unit? Mm -hmm. The subunit of a nucleic acid. Nucleotide. Nucleotide, good. So ATP 
is one nucleotide, right? The triphosphate for the three phosphates, the adenosine for the adenine, the base, right? Remember, DNA has four different bases. ATP can only have the A, can only have adenine. Review, remembering this, kind of coming back, hopefully. So, we have the energized versus unenergized form. Now, this isn't really picking up very nicely because it's kind of faded, but we have our sugar bonded to our three phosphates, bonded to our double ringed base, which is adenine. Over here, we have the sugar bonded to two phosphates, bonded to the same base. This is our triphosphate, diphosphate. And then that lone phosphate and energy are over here. This is how energy gets removed from ATP. Anybody remember what molecule or what organelle in the cell is responsible for making ATP? Mitochondria. Mitochondria. So, easiest way for me to talk about it is I talk about it like it's a rechargeable battery. A DP diphosphate is uncharged. A TP is charged. The mitochondria's job basically is that it takes an ADP, an uncharged, all right? And it takes a phosphate, a lone phosphate molecule, and it's going to link that last phosphate molecule on. That last phosphate molecule bond right there is where all of the energy is stored in ATP. When that bond breaks, the ATP gets used, right? The bond breaks and releases all that energy. And you wind up with a diphosphate and a lone phosphate again. The ADP can go back to the mitochondria, get a new phosphate and store energy, go back out into the cell, get used, break the bond, release the energy. Now it's ADP. Go back to the mitochondria, get recharged, go back out into the cell, get the idea. So it's really just a cycle. ADP goes back, picks up a phosphate, becomes ATP. ATP goes out, gets used, breaks the phosphate, becomes back to ADP. Back, round and round. Get the idea? All right, so when you break that bond, each of these molecules is free to go back to our hot dog mitochondria. I think it looks like a hot dog, sorry. All right, back to our mitochondria, and they can be joined together again, and ATP will go back out into the cell to be used. All right? So they're just going to get recycled over and over and over. This cartoon pretty much says it perfectly. All right? The charged version of ATP is tri. The uncharged is di. ADP versus ATP. And the way that we recharge is that we eat. What type of organic compound is our main source of energy? Dave? Carbohydrates. Carbohydrates. What type of carbohydrates? Glucose. Well, we break things down into glucose. What type of food do we prefer to eat? What type of carb do we prefer to eat? to get the most bang for our buck. Polysaccharides, like bread, starches, right? 